Hey guys, so today I'm in the kitchen on my own and as St George's Day is coming up, I'm making a fresh seasonal British salad with some new potatoes and some asparagus which is just coming into season. So first I'm gonna get the potatoes on, asparagus on, and we're ready to go. I barely ever eat salads, but you know, I'm giving this a go. We have a bit of fish in there. All I'm gonna do is just cut these in a bit of an angle in half and I'm gonna put them straight in, 12 to 15 minutes to cook. So if you guys haven't ever heard of St George's Day, it's basically really similar to St Patrick's Day in Ireland, but it's basically he is the patron saint of England. So what better way to celebrate than using some fresh British ingredients? I'm gonna teach you a little trick here that a friend once taught me is how to get asparagus at the freshest point. If you get the asparagus and you bend it, it will naturally find where its freshest point is. One at a time. It's amazing. So we're gonna discard the ends, just use the tips, and we're gonna boil these for about a couple of minutes. So the asparagus has finished cooking, and I'm gonna place it into a cold bowl of water. And then we don't have it overcooking. I think it is awesome. It is one of my favorite vegetables, probably up there with peas, because everybody likes peas. But now that is done, I'm gonna now make my dressing. I'm gonna get my white wine vinegar. I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of this. I'm gonna get some lemon, roll it to kind of soften the old girl up. Chop it in half. Do a good squeeze. I'm gonna test my potatoes using a knife and just stabbing them in the top. And if the knife goes straight through, which it does, they are done. So I'm gonna drain them and leave them to cool. Right, kind of rewinding back to my dressing part now, which I've got my white wine vinegar and my lemon juice in there. It's time for my caster sugar. I need a half a teaspoon. Then we'll add some sunflower oil. Let me add three tablespoons of this. So there's half a teaspoon of mustard powder that goes in. I've got a bit of black pepper. So now I'm gonna whisk everything up and make sure it's all nicely combined. And then the good thing is you can seal this, come back to it another day. We're gonna put that to one side. And once we've finished assembling everything, we will place a little bit on top of the salad. Start with an onion. I'm gonna dice this into small pieces. My kind of plan is to cut it all up and then reassemble in the bowl. But the only problem is, will Fleur actually speak to me after I've eaten the entire raw onion? So to add on my kind of theme of trying to make this fancy, instead of slicing my cucumber, I'm going to peel it. If you'd like to make the salad, then the recipe is in the info bar below. There's real effort going into this. This is dedication to the cause. It needs to look as good as possible and not be quite so amateurish. So no excuses today, I can't fail. And for my second magic trick, I'm gonna use a cheese grater, but I'm not gonna use this side. I'm gonna use this straight side. I'm gonna get these little fellas. And hopefully, without losing a finger, they are flying all over the floor. Um, but they're pretty thin, I think. That's pretty thin. Finally, I'm gonna chop up some parsley before I kind of add all the watercress and combine everything together. So I'm just gonna rip a bit off. Finally, chop the parsley. I've got some Sainsbury's baby leaf watercress. So the next plan is to add my radishes in. So I'm gonna grab this parsley. Again, try and get this nice and even. Time to add the real substance to this kind of salad thing. So I'm gonna get my potatoes, and this time of year, with new potatoes, they are that little bit sweeter, but massively it depends on where they're grown. And for me, Cheshire potatoes are the best. And if anyone else says anything else, you're wrong, I'm right. They're the best. Asparagus, that's going in. Like that, it doesn't even look like a salad anymore. It's just potatoes and asparagus, brilliant. Dressing time. Mix everything in. There is one thing missing, and that is mackerel. Mackerel is a very much a staple British fish. Um, I'm just going to sort of pick bits. I'm going to put shards in, put it around. Again, Fleur will tell me I'm doing this wrong, but she's lying. I, I'm a big fan of fish. I, I can't really eat much mackerel, um, but I do really like it. But I think with the sort of potatoes, asparagus, radish, which I now love, uh, it's actually going to be really tasty. It is complete, but to make sure I've not done anything that is not to scratch, I'm gonna pull in my glamorous assistant. Uh, Fleur, my dear, as if by magic, would you appear from is behind the door? Ready? It is ready. Take your time. <laughs> you take your time. That what do you think? That's really good. Can I try it? This is full of fresh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is full of fresh and seasonal veg. Give it a try whirl. Try some? Yeah. Try this asparagus first. It's good. There, green. I love smoked mackerel. 
looking beautiful, but as always, you made a bit of a mess while staring at having you, Mike. The messiest chef okay. in town. Nothing to see here. <laughs> so you're basically mining for my salad right now. That's I've eaten all the mackerel. Fair oh, enough. wait, there's another bit. So I'm really proud that it's turned out as good and she likes it, which is even better. If you enjoyed this, then have a check on our courgette spaghetti, which you will find down here. Which that was really good. Really that was one awesome. Of my faves. And if you also like salads, try a kale salad, which you My cooked. kale salad Your kale is salad. the best. That is down here. And if you also enjoyed this, please comment, click, subscribe, let us know what you think. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.